some of my crazy subscribers. This is Joe King John City 4 and today people I'll be reviewing Battlefield 5 on the negative side. If you guys didn't see the positive side of Battlefield 5, make sure you go back one video to check it out because in that video I told you guys everything I like about the game. So now we're gonna be talking about the bad side. Hopefully some of you guys don't dislike me after this, but I know it's gonna happen. So, anyways, first things first, of course, this is one big problem in the game that kinda kills immersion the woman in the battlefield come on man we all know this didn't happen in the actual war kind of kills the immersion and it just doesn't belong here it feels like it's a fantasy game made up but for some reason ea is trying to say like no this is authentication that this actually happened in world war ii they keep pushing this agenda and i'm like no i know what i read in the books i graduated from high school i know what i read it did not say anything about women in the battlefield except for the freaking Russian snipers but you know you don't see a bunch of Russian snipers in this game either you see Asian snipers when did that happen <laughs> I don't know but like that's I'm telling you like it kills immersion it kind of does I feel like I'm just playing some fantasy game like I said so it is not it doesn't feel like World War 2 at all that's my biggest problem here in this game um, another problem that I do see with this game has to be the revive screen. If you guys have not, you know, experienced the revive screen, it kind of feels like uh, Battlefield is rubbing into your face, like, hey, you died, you know, so now you have to wait for someone to revive you. And the thing is, in the Battlefield series, anybody who uses Medic do not play as Medic. I'm pretty sure some of you guys don't get me, but, like, I'm just saying, nobody acts like a medic nobody tries to revive you at all and you guys saw it on my live stream i had like several medics pass next to me from different squads even my own squad and they don't revive me there's like no enemies in front of them and for some reason they don't revive their own teammates i don't get it i still don't get it since like battlefield 3 but that's how things are but somehow ea is trying to push us to like hey you know let's see if they actually do revive their teammates like it's not gonna work because that's how the community is you know it's never gonna work so maybe like one game per 10 games you will get revived by a teammate <laughs> that's how lucky you gotta get one game out of 10. so um that ain't gonna work EA. stop pushing this revive screen we return it to the overlook view of the map that's a lot better just how battlefield one had it that's how i wanted to get you know that will be better for this game so uh, another thing that i want to mention guys is the weapon selection it looks like it's minimal again because I did play Battlefield Hardline the beta. I've played the Battlefield 1 beta. I've played the Battlefront Star Wars beta also. All of these games, what they had in common is that the weapon selection in the beta was actually four weapons per class. And then on release day, they actually had four weapons per class. And I know people are going to say like, oh no, we'll just wait for the DLC, they'll release more weapons. I'm like, I don't care. If they're going to release more weapons, why not release it on the first day? It will be more fun to switch between weapons and test them out on all the maps. That's a lot better. We didn't see that in Battlefield 3 nor Battlefield 4. So this really bothers me a lot that hopefully this is not the final list for the weapons. Because if it is, then we literally just play the full game. <laughs> Undone open beta. So, um, a lot of things really worry me about this game. It has the potential, it has the, you know, the items, it has the investment, but they're not using it to a full potential. It's like EA doesn't want to earn money, you know? <laughs> I kind of feel like it's like that. So, that really bothered me the, the most. You know, the weapon reselection is not as much, but hopefully it's just because it's the beta. Hopefully, in the full game release, they do add more weapons. I don't want to wait for no DLC. I don't care about DLC just want to get the full game complete on the release day so which is pretty rare nowadays so anyways um i still don't know about conquest man it does feel super boring <laughs> but on the other map where the town is you know you have like a bunch of buildings and you can go within them in the hallways and all that stuff that one's more fun than this map this map is super boring I just played it the first time on Conquest. You guys saw it in my stream. People left. I was bored. I was pissed off because of the, of the revive screen. I was like, nah, man. You know what? Conquest is boring this year. There's not a lot of tanks. There's not a lot of vehicles to choose from. And it just doesn't feel like Conquest. Something's missing. I feel like something's missing. That's why I don't like Conquest this year. So I'm going mostly to Grand Operations where it's mostly like gunfights and gun skills. You know, it's all about guns in Grand Operations, which I like. So... Um, if I wanted to go into the war zone, it will be Grand Operations. Like I said in my previous video, Grand Operations will be the place to play 
if you're looking for a lot of kills and a lot of you know gun to gun fights that's the best place um another thing that kind of bothered me was the freaking ammo like why is it still 60 bullets per gun and i know i talk about it in my previous video but this time i'm going more detail to it like i said you know 60 bullets ain't enough for a rushing move or a flanking move or to take out a bunch of enemies a big wave of enemies like it's not possible you gotta go into an ammo station to refill your mags like every single time you're done with taking, taking out some few enemies you gotta go back to the ammo station because most of the people that do have the ammo you know class that gives that drops ammo they don't drop ammo I haven't seen a single ammo on the floor or even some of the medics you know i don't see no freaking medic packs on the floor it just kills a little bit of the fun so i'm a little bit worried about that because if i try to rush i know my bullets are going to be off and i have to shoot with a pistol like 50 percent of the time you end up in a pistol no matter what you can't avoid it so if you're like far away trying to take over a flag good luck because you're gonna end up in a pistol at the end so you can't like i said i know what they're trying to prevent they're trying to prevent long kill streaks but this is just killing the fun of the game you don't want to do that so it's a little bit bothering so that is it guys that's my that's what thing, the things that bother me the most in this game they gotta change in order for it to be fun so uh, you guys got your own opinion leave it in the comment section and i'll see you guys later subscribe for more for more battlefield 5